What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On the video today, it's kind of like a little experiment. I got this idea um, a couple days ago and I was trying to think of different ways we could test this. So I'm not going to get too crazy in explaining what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if pepper spray will melt either ice or snow. So I've got a three ounce can of Fox. It's uh, just the first one, the 5.3 squared. It's the Fogger. And I've got a uh, can of Heat Wave. This one's a stream. So I'm going to go out in the snow, uh, use it on some ice, and then uh, separately, and then I'm going to see if uh, combined it'll, it'll melt some ice. This stuff is hot on your face, but will it melt some ice? Leave your guesses in the comment section below. Okay, so I've got some ice up here on the deck. Uh, this patio furniture. Uh, yeah. Collects all sorts of ice. I'm going to rip this up and place it in the yard. Alright, now that my hands are sufficiently frozen, first we're going to try... We are not going to try the fogger, because this is one of those room foggers. The one where it, uh, you click it, hold it down, and it'll just saturate a room. Uh, you throw it into an area like a grenade. We're not going to try that. Not in this uh, area right here. So I've got a big chunk of ice right there. I've got some snow right here. I'm kind of just going just gonna to wing it. <coughs> Blowing right towards me. Shake it up. That area right there, I put a lot in, in a... So what I'm going to do is let that go for a little while. I'm going to check whether this uh, heat wave, which is insanely hot, whether this heat wave was able to melt the ice or, and or the snow. Alright, I've actually uh, come up with a way I can test this fogger. What I'm going to do is take this snow shovel, get a big pile of snow on it, make sure I'm downwind. I'm going to pop this fogger here, and I'm going to throw snow on top of it. Hopefully this works. So that is in there. I can hear it. I can hear it boring through the ice. Still going. This is actually a good test too to see how long this thing goes. I'm gonna take a peek. I might regret this. <laughs> it's actually still going. Boy, it's like eight degrees out here and I'm not wearing any gloves. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's eight degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of minus one degrees. Big mistake on my part, but that is still going. 
sounds like it's starting to finish and wrap up. All right, so that's done. I'm going to watch the video over again. And I'm going to see how long that lasted. It actually lasted lo a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But now I'm going to check I'm going to check uh my original spray with the heat wave. So there it is. There's the snow. And there's that area that I uh, concentrate a, a lot of uh, the agent. You waving? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. So Maverick and I are gonna wrap up this video. If your guess was that it was not going to work, you are correct. It didn't work at all. Um, the fogger, like I said, I had this idea where I'd set the fogger. That uses a like a click type top. So it's meant to stay activated, and then you're supposed to throw the can, whether it be in a room, a vehicle, or wherever you're trying to escape from. Um, so all that did, <laughs> say hi. All that did was the liquid uh, bored through the snow, uh, mainly because the liquid wasn't as cold as the snow. So it kind of just like acted like a squirt gun with like room temperature water in it, and. Uh, colored everything orange uh it's pretty neat you can see the uh the dye that's in the spray um as far as the heat wave that didn't do anything either it didn't melt the ice it didn't melt the snow same effect um the heat is really only activated by your skin um and then the uh major capsinoids that are uh produced into the air will cause you to cough and all that stuff so uh without getting too technical because it's like Cynthia from Fox Lab, she's very smart with that stuff. I'm not. I just know it burns. I just know it makes you cough. Hi. But Maverick and I enjoyed um, doing this test. Of course, he was inside. He did not go anywhere near um, the pepper spray agent. But we enjoyed doing this. And we want to thank you for coming by. This is Josh and this is Maverick. How old are you? One. And we'll see you next time.